Hi guys, over here and welcome back to another video. So as some of you already know, I collect Ultramarines. I've got a pretty big army already, got an entire Ultramarine firstborn company, I've got uh, Primaris, I've got tanks, dreadnoughts, but there is one thing I was missing. Not Gilliman, not him, but flyers. I'm missing flyers, I've got none. All, they're just all ground support in my army. Just all tanks, dreadnoughts, all of that until today's video because in today's video I'm going to be showing you a flyer that I recently painted and I've recently added to my Ultramarine army and that is the Storm Raven. guys here is the storm raven very pleased with how it's turned out it's a great add-on to my ultramarine army especially with the scenic base it just um like makes it stand out a lot more it's not that boring same see-through stand um so i think it looks really really cool i had no issues painting it because of course this is like painting a tank it's like the same big model um that doesn't really take too much um time for like details and stuff because there's not really that much detail that needs to be painted because like with um, much more complicated miniatures like smaller ones they take a lot more time and they're a lot more complicated to do uh, but with this model as you can see if you look a lot of the stuff that stands out is like the transfers like a little bit of gold there like there's not too much on it and then I've got the engines at the back, put a little bit of Tesseract Glow on there, which does reflect a lot um, when the light is on it. It's really, really cool. And I will actually show you uh, the bottom of it, because I think the bottom looks really nice when the light is reflecting down on it, as you can see there. A lot of it's dry brush work, um, but still very effective. And now that I've taken it off the stand, I'll just show you uh, the stand. So here it is with the little uh, scenic uh, part on it um so very cool and then here's a little close-up of the pilot and even though you can see the pilot in there so you get a little bit of like size comparison i'll just show you um just a normal mark 7 space marine um compared to uh, the model so one second so here it is with the space marine next to it of course it is on a stand so it's going to look bigger but either way the Storm Raven is a very, um, like, it's a very chunky model. Like, the width of it is much wider than all of the uh, flyers that I will do a size comparison on in a second. Um, so, yeah, it has surprised me with the size of it. And that's what she said. So, as you can see, the lighting has changed a lot more because when I zoom out, for some reason, uh, the lighting changes. But now I wanted to show you um, some of the flyers compared to it. I've got four flyers, two of them are Mantic, and the Mantic ones are mine, and two of them are 40k, and the 40k ones are my dad's. So the first one is the Hornet, the GCPS Hornet, uh, from Mantic. This is in the uh, Warpath range. Uh, just go check Mantic out if you want to. Uh, but yeah, this is the GCPS Hornet, as you can see, both together. Looking at them both side by side, you can see that the width of the Storm Raven is like two times the width of the GCPS Hornet. And when you turn them to the side a little bit, you'll see that the Storm Raven is just a little bit longer as well. 
So yeah, moving on to the next uh, flyer. So here I have the Valkyrie from my dad's Chaos Guard army. Um, so this will be a good comparison because I do want to see how big the Valkyrie is compared to the Storm Raven. So from, let me zoom out a bit more. So lengthwise, oh wait, that's really nice actually. I should have zoomed out more on the other one. Uh, but yeah, uh, the length uh, Valkyrie takes that win for length. But then, like the width, the Storm Raven is just like a thick boy. It's very thick. As you can see there. But both really, really cool models, especially um, Valkyrie. Such a cool model. Um, and yeah, peace of mind as well. So next, this is a Mantic flyer. This is the Inceptor, which I did paint. And it is a lot lower, as you can see. But that's not because the stand is smaller. It's exactly the same size as the Hornet one. But it's just that the Hornet has a drop pod on. Uh, but this Inceptor does not, so it looks a little bit lower. Uh, but either way, I'd say the no, they're about the same length, and then of course, um, yeah, the Storm Raven just looks a little bit bigger from the front angle. And finally, I've got my dad's Orc Fighter Bomber. Really cool model. It's been in a, quite a lot of uh, the size comparisons, but this size comparison probably makes the most sense because it is a flyer, of course. Um, but there they are, face to face. And then bring it back to the front so you can see the front angle. The Storm Raven yet again looks um, bigger. So, yeah, overall, the Storm Raven is a much bigger model than I thought. So, mor moral of the story is don't trust the box art on any models, any sort of like vehicles like that, because. A lot of the time, as you can see, they're wrong because on the Storm Raven uh, box art, I thought it'd be a lot smaller, but this model is very big. That is the Storm Raven. Very pleased how it's um, turned out. There'll be lots more flyers to come um, to be added to my Ultramarine army. But yeah, this is the first one, and yeah, like I said, please how it's turned out. So guys, that is the end of the video. That was a look at my Storm Raven and the other flyers compared to it. Overall, like I already said really cool model and a lot bigger than I thought when I um, when I saw the finished um, outcome of it like it's it's a decently sized model I thought it'd be like this big like this sort of size but it's, it's not that big but yeah but talking about um, bigness is that a word bigness but anyway I have something pretty big coming up and it is a flyer, a big flyer. And I've been teasing it for a while. No, 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 I teased it in one video. It is the Thunder. But yes, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Like I said, that was a look at Storm Raven. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And also go check out my Instagram as well because uh, this boy, this Storm Raven, he was all, he's already on there. So like, you've, you've missed out really. You've had to wait for this video to see it. But my Instagram followers, they've already seen it. Um, so yeah, just go check it out. Here's the name, all the stuff on there. There's Necron stuff at the moment. A lot of it's Necron base. And talking about Necrons, I posted three shorts. Don't know when it was. Well, as I'm speaking, it was two days ago when I posted these Necrons, and they've all gone over a thousand views. One's at like 2.1 now, which is crazy. And we're doing really well on the subs as well. As I'm speaking, we should be on about 345 subscribers. So if we can get to 350 subscribers, that'll be great. We've already gotten halfway um, of the way to 400 subscribers. That's amazing because we were on 200 subscribers four months ago, and we're already halfway to 400 so that's pretty good if you ask me so yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye